The Law of One Session 55, June 5th, 1981 55.0 I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the One Infinite Creator. I communicate now. 55.1 Questioner I would first like to ask as to the condition of the instrument, please. I am Ra. This instrument is experiencing physical distortions toward weakness of the bodily complex occurring due to psychic attack. This instrument's vital energies have not been affected, however, due to the aid of those present in healing work. This instrument will apparently be subject to such weakness distortions due to incarnative processes which predispose the body complex towards weakness distortions. 55.2 Questioner is there any specific thing that we can do that you have already told us or otherwise to alleviate this psychic attack or to help the instrument the most? I am Ra. We scan this instrument and find its distortion towards appreciation of each entity and each entity's caring, as you may call it. This atmosphere, shall we say, offers the greatest contrast to the discomfort of such psychic attacks, being the reciprocal, that is, the atmosphere of psychic support. This each of you do as a subconscious function of true attitudinal, mental, emotional, and spiritual distortions towards this instrument. There is no magic greater than honest distortion toward love. 55.3 Questioner Thank you. I want to ask a couple questions about previous material that I didn't understand. I'm hoping that this will clear up my understanding somewhat with respect to the mental configurations with which we have been dealing. In the session before last you stated, however, this is a risk for the Orion entities due to the frequency with which the harvestable negative planetary entities then attempt to bid or order the Orion contact, just as these entities bid planetary negative contacts. Can you explain the mechanisms that affect polarization in consciousness with respect to this statement? I am Ra. The negative polarization is greatly aided by the subjugation or enslavement of other selves. The potential between two negatively polarized entities is such that the entity which enslaves the other or bids the other gains in negative polarity. The entity so bidden or enslaved, in serving an other self, will necessarily lose negative polarity although it will gain in desire for further negative polarization. This desire will then tend to create opportunities to regain negative polarity. 55.4 Questioner Am I to understand then just the fact that the third density entity on this planet, just the fact that he calls or bids an Orion Crusader is a polarizing type of action that affects both entities? I am Ra. This is incorrect. The calling mechanism is not congruent in the slightest degree with the bidding mechanism. In the calling, the entity which calls is a suppliant neophyte asking for aid in negative understanding, if you may excuse this misnomer. The Orion response increases its negative polarity as it is disseminating the negative philosophy, thereby enslaving or bidding the entity calling. There are instances, however, when the contact becomes a contest which is prototypical of negativity. In this contest, the caller will attempt, not to ask for aid, but to demand results. Since the third density negatively oriented harvestable entity has at its disposal an incarnative experiential nexus and since Orion Crusaders are, in a great extent, bound by the first distortion in order to progress, the Orion entity is vulnerable to such bidding if properly done. In this case, the third density entity becomes master and the Orion Crusader becomes entrapped and can be bid. This is rare. However, when it has occurred, the Orion entity or social memory complex involved has experienced loss of negative polarity in proportion to the strength of the bidding third density entity. 55.5 Question You mentioned that this will work when the bidding is properly done. What did you mean by when the bidding is properly done? I am wrong. To properly bid is to be properly negative. The percentage of thought and behavior involving service to self must approach 99% in order for a third density negative entity to be properly configured for such a contest of bidding. 55.6 Questioner What method of communication with the Orion entity would a negative bidder of this type use? I am wrong. The two most usual types of bidding are, one, the use of perversions of sexual magic, 
2. The use of perversions of ritual magic. In each case the key to success is the purity of the will of the bidder. The concentration upon victory over the servant must be nearly perfect. 55.7 Questioner. Can you tell me, in the polarizations in consciousness, if there is any analogy with respect to what you just said in this type of contact, with respect to what we are doing right now in communicating with Ra? I am Ra. There is no relationship between this type of contact and the bidding process. This contact may be characterized as one typical of the brothers and sisters of sorrow wherein those receiving the contact have attempted to prepare for such contact by sacrificing extraneous, self-oriented distortions in order to be of service. The raw social memory complex offers itself also as a function of its desire to serve. Both the caller and the contact are filled with gratitude at the opportunity of serving others. We may note that this in no way presupposes that either the callers or those of our group in any way approach a perfection or purity such as was described in the bidding process. The calling group may have many distortions and be working with much catalyst, as may those of Ra. The overriding desire to serve others, bonded with the unique harmonics of this group's vibratory complexes, gives us the opportunity to serve as one channel for the one infinite creator. Things come not to those positively oriented, but through such beings. 55.8 Questioner Thank you. You stated in earlier time until transfers of energy of all types have been experienced and mastered to a great extent. There will be blockages in the blue and indigo radiations. Could you explain that more fully? I am Ra. At this space, time we have not covered the appropriate intermediate material. Please re-question at a more appropriate space, time nexus. 55.9 Questioner Okay. I'm sort of hunting around here for an entry into some information. I may not be looking in a productive area. But you had stated that we that is Ra had been aided by shapes such as the pyramid. So that we could aid your people with a shape such as the pyramid. These shapes have been mentioned many many times and you have also stated that the shapes themselves aren't of too much consequence i see a relation between these shapes and the energies that we have been studying with respect to the body and i would like to ask a few questions on the pyramid to see if i might get an entry into some of this understanding you stated you will find the intersection of the triangle which is at the first level on each of the four sides forms a diamond in a plane which is horizontal. Can you tell me what you meant by the word? Intersection. I am Ra. Your mathematics and arithmetic have a paucity of configurative descriptions which we might use. Without intending to be obscure, we may note that the purpose of the shapes is to work with time-space portions of the mind-body-spirit complex. Therefore, the intersection is both space-time and time-space oriented and thus is expressed in three-dimensional geometry by two intersections which, when projected in both time-space and space-time, form one point. 55.10 Questioner I have calculated this point to be one-sixth of the height of the triangle that forms the side of the pyramid. Is this correct? I am wrong. Your calculations are substantially correct and we are pleased at your perspicacity. 55.11 Questioner This would indicate to me that in the Great Pyramid at Giza, the Queen's Chamber, as it is called, would be the chamber for initiation. Is this correct? I am Ra. Again, you penetrate the outer teaching. The Queen's Chamber would not be appropriate or useful for healing work as that work involves the use of energy in a more synergic configuration rather than the configuration of the centered being. 55.12 Questioner Then would the healing work be done in the King's Chamber? I am Ra. This is correct. We may note that such terminology is not our own. 55.13 Questioner Yes. I understand that. It is just the common naming of the two chambers of the Great Pyramid. I don't know whether this line of questioning is going to take me to a better understanding of the energies. But until I have explored these concepts, there is nothing much that I can do but ask a few questions. There is a chamber below the bottom level of the pyramid. 
down below ground, that appears to be roughly in line with the king's chamber. What is that chamber? I am wrong. We may say that there is information to be gained from this line of querying. The chamber you request to be informed about is a resonating chamber. The bottom of such a structure, in order to cause the appropriate distortions for healing catalyst, shall be open. 55.14 Questioner The book, Life Force in the Great Pyramid They have related the onk shape with a resonance in the pyramid. Is this a correct analysis? I am raw. We have scanned your mind and find the phrase, working with crayons. This would be applicable. There is only one significance to these shapes such as the crux and sada, that is the placing in coded form of mathematical relationships. 55.15 Questioner Is the 76 degrees 18 angle at the apex of the pyramid a critical angle? I am raw. For the healing work intended, this angle is appropriate. 55.16 Questioner Why does the king's chamber have the various small chambers above it? I am raw. This will be the last full query of this working. We must address this query more generally in order to explicate your specific question. The positioning of the entity to be healed is such that the life energies, if you will, are in a position to be briefly interrupted or intersected by light. This light then may, by the catalyst of the healer with the crystal, manipulate the oral forces, as you may call the various energy centers, in such a way that if the entity to be healed wills it so, corrections may take place. Then the entity is reprotected by its own, now less distorted, energy field and is able to go its way. The process by which this is done involves bringing the entity to be healed to an equilibrium. This involves temperature, barometric pressure, and the electrical charged atmosphere. The first two requirements are controlled by the system of chimneys. 55.17 Questioner Does this healing work by affecting the energy centers in such a way that they are unblocked so as to perfect the seven bodies that they generate and, therefore, bring the entity being healed into proper balance? I am raw. This entity tires. We must answer in brief and state simply that the distorted configuration of the energy centers is intended to be temporarily interrupted and the opportunity is then presented to the one to be healed to grasp the baton, to take the balanced route and to walk thence with the distortions towards disease of mind, body, and spirit greatly lessened. The catalytic effect of the charged atmosphere and the crystal directed by the healer must be taken into consideration as integral portions of this process, for the bringing back of the entity to a configuration of conscious awareness would not be accomplished after the reorganization possibilities are offered without the healer's presence and directed will. Are there any brief queries before we leave this instrument? 55.18 Questioner only is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. All is well. You are conscientious. I now leave this working. I am raw. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. <laughs>